Hello and welcome. Uh, myself Nitesh Pradhan from Lab View and Multisim. In this video, I will show you how can you enable the current date and time in X axis. Now you can see in this X axis. Uh, today I am recording this session, uh, and today's date is three uh, th 23 September 2023, and this time is near about 6:30 uh, a.m. Uh, p.m. Sorry, just 6:30 a.m. So in this time I am uh, recording this session and now you can see here you are getting the proper my current date and time. So most of the students ask me how can we enable the date uh, this current time. Whenever they try to enable the current uh, date and time uh, so they got only the default date and time default date and time uh, program. So sorry default date and time on their program on their display. So in this video, I will show you how you can enable it. So let's start. Now open your lab view. Come into the front panel and block diagram. Right click on the front panel. Come into the control palette. In the third column, second one graph. First column, first number waveform chart. Take it. Now here i will try to display i will try to uh, display only uh, random numbers we'll use the random number to uh, continuous uh, this uh, to con uh, to display the continued data okay so right click come here here i am taking a while loop because we know while loop will run continuously and we can uh, we can control the speed of while loop now while loop will stop when i will press the stop button it's clear now now here i am going to take a random number function because you know very well random number function will generate a uh, random numbers okay in between 0 and 1 and number will be always less than 1 and it will be equal or greater than 0 so now this program will run very fast so i uh, we can control the speed using this weight function so v weight function and now here i am going to create constant create a constant with the hundred that means in every second it will generate a 10 data it, every second it will generate 10 data and we can easily display that 10 data if you need uh, more than that so you can uh, make your configuration here i will show you how can do it so now right click now if i will run the program so now you can see here we are getting the data we are getting the data here from left to right and is displaying the data based on the iterations in every iteration we are getting the data single single data and uh, our loop will run 10 times in a second okay that's that uh, i think our loop has been run for the five seconds that's why we are getting the 50 data now so let's try to enable uh, the current date and time so for that you have to use these functions you know very well a waveform, a waveform graph, and uh, is a collection of a waveform is a collection of del t, y, uh, del t, t zero and y array. So, so for that you have to take a waveform graph. Right click, come into the waveform, and right click on the block diagram, come into the waveform, take a waveform, build a waveform, and connect the build waveform with the waveform chart. So you will get the data, you will get the uh, waveform representation like this. Okay. It's our time axis. Okay, it's our time axis. Now, right click, open the label. In this build waveform, you have to drag it two times. So you will get three attributes. One is a Y, second is attributes and third is attributes so click on the y and select t0 t0 means uh, we have to select here the current time second one is del t and third one is y array you know a waveform graph or waveform is a collection of del t t0 del t and y array so here we have to connect the current time functions so for that you have to come here and you have to come to the timing and in this timing second column second number get date time in second function you have to take now you have to open the 
label and then you can make a connection like this you can make a connection like this after that make a connection sorry create constant create a constant and give the value del t create a constant and give the value del t sorry and here i am going to give the value del t is equal to 0 sorry del t is equal to 1 after that here i will try to connect my data generator but you will get the information now you are connecting to different uh, data types because it will accept only the array data and here i am giving only the uh, scalar data so for that let's i try to convert it to, into the array so convert your scalar value into the array you have to co uh, come into the array and you have to take the build array function and after that you have to open the label and make a connection like this and make a connection now your now my program is set to run okay now here i am going to run the program so you will f see it will display the data with the current date and time now now you can see here is generating the data with the current date and time look at here now you can see is the 6 okay 635 635 uh, 635 uh, yes 39.500 millisecond am then it's uh, 40 second is okay for 41 second so in between this second now you can see here we are getting the data okay so let's start from this location in from this 40 okay so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten we are getting the 10 data between one second let's count here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten again we are getting the 10 data why because our loop is generating the 10 data every second if i will reduce it and let's try to start the data recording from the sorry uh, here using this if i will uh, reduce increase the speed in this condition we'll get the 100 data every second we'll get the 100 data every second okay now uh, i don't want to go with the 100 data i want to go with the uh, like uh, yes 25 sample okay so let's run the program it's 12 and it's 13 okay now please look at this one is 12 second and it's 30 second 13 second so let's try to count the number okay one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five so now you can see every second we are getting the 25 data so in this way you can read and you can write okay in this way you can uh, display your data with your current time now the second question suppose you have you are acquiring the data from two different data source okay suppose you are acquiring the data from two uh, suppose you are acquiring the data from two channels okay two channels so random number one is the my first channel and random number number two is the my second channel we have two channel random number one and random number two so for that we have to take the same function here just a second we have to take the same function here copy and paste and make a connection like this and after that come here and take a build function take a build function make a connection like this build function now you can see so here i am saying channel channel 2 and if it's channel number 1 suppose we have two channel channel number 1 and channel number 2 okay
we have two channels, channel number, channel number one and channel number two. So now you can see we had connected two channels and now I want to display the both of the channel data here. So in this plot number zero, we'll get the data from channel number one and then the plot number two will get the data from the uh, channel number two. Right click and come to the stack plot and place here. Now, if you want, so you can decrease, increase the uh, vertical size run the program now you will get the data for both the channel if you want so you can stop the program and also you can log your program or export in the, uh, your program in the excel file right right click come into the properties come into the display format and in this way you can if you will get uh come to display format and select the absolute time and if you will system format so you will get the system format okay it's time tuned so you will get a date only okay in the system time format okay and run the program now you can see here we are getting this data with the second only and we are getting the data with second only why and let's try to export the data so in this if you try to export the data so let's check here your time axis yeah we are getting the only we are getting only uh, okay now you can see here we are getting the data with this date time and current date completely date time date time and current complete data we are getting okay you can expand it you can expand it more okay now here i am going to close it don't see now right click come into the properties here I am going to edit more. Okay. Here edit, I, I am going to edit more. So here date, month, and years. Date, month, and years. Just I want to check and run the program. You are getting the same here information here. Now again come to the properties. If you don't want so you can uh, leave here don't show the year if i will uh, system dated okay it was a system time okay tune the time okay if you don't want to go with the date you just only want to keep the um, if you just uh, wants to give the date sorry you just want to give the uh, date and uh, sorry none uh, hours minute and second okay hours six hours uh, 42 minutes and seven seconds now here i am going to customize it and i only want to go with the uh, 24 hours i want to go with the 24 hours and date and times okay 24 hours date and times and also i want to go with the uh, like i want to go with the custom sorry uh, custom and okay run let's try to run the program stop it to save the program export okay in the next example i will try to show you how if you have data in excel sheet if you have the data in excel sheet with this time plot and you want to drag the data you want to you want to call the data between a specific time period. Suppose you want to uh, call the data from the 21 second to the 22 seconds. So whatever data is pre will present in between 21 and 22 seconds, you will able to see only that data. That video I will make, that algorithm I will um, um, break out and I will uh, make a video for you. Okay, so thank you for watching this video. If you find this video is helpful for you, then please comment and like.